All right, guys, after we've set the torch up, if you'll open your book right here to page five on your tip selection. Now, above each tip, it tells you how to identify it, and then right underneath each tip, it tells you what thickness to weld. Now, it don't make a difference what type of metal. Always look at the thickness you want to weld, and then select the proper tip. Now, the zero tip right here is the only tip that has a smooth barrel. There's nothing on it. That's what you're going to weld from four thousandths up to about 20 gauge. The zero tip is the only tip that don't have a marking on it. It is a smooth barrel, so it tells you that. Right in the book, that's what I would weld from four thousandths up to about 30 thousandths or 20 gauge. That's any metal. Remember, all these tips are set up by thickness of metal, not what type of metal. All right, your next size up is the 0 0.5. If you look real close right here, this right here has got a little small V groove. Tells you right there on top. That's what you weld, 20 gauge to 1 16th. All right, come back up. This one has a number one tip. It's got a deep groove cut in it, 1 16th to 1 8th. Your number two has two rings. That's what you weld anything over one eighth of an inch. Your number three, all we do is weld, is, is just set up and heat with that number three. Don't weld with that number three tip because it pops a good bit on you. All right, now we're going to show you what flame settings to use with it. So once you've selected your tip, now I've got the zero tip already on my torch right here. We've done set the torch at the regulators. All I'm going to do is open the acetylene up just a little bit. Just a little bit of oxygen where you don't get all the acetylene in. It don't take much right here. All right, now notice that each tip from your smallest to your thickest, that little cone right there, the smaller that cone, the cooler it is. The longer that cone, the hotter it is. So each tip right here, you can adjust it right here with the oxycetylene. You can do it with either one of them if you want it longer. So you just adjust that outer flame right there is the acetylene. All right, then with the oxygen, bring it in just off feather. That's what the book talks about. It's always talking about that's your feather right here. Never look at this. There's your little outer feather. Once that disappears right inside that cone, that's a neutral flame right here. All right, now if you want to make that flame smaller, you can bring either one of them, just cut it in. I always like to just all feather right there. All right, so if you want to take it down a little bit more, you can adjust it with either one of them. Always bring that feather. Remember, the smaller the cone, the cooler it is. Longer the cone, the hotter it is. Now, you use a neutral flame on every metal except stainless. Now, stainless, we run that feather out there just a little bit. All right, so if that cone right there Let's just say as a quarter inch, you would run that feather out about two to three times longer. It's just a rule of thumb. So if that is a quarter inch, you would be out here about three quarters of an inch, a half to three quarters. But to weld stainless or stainless to another metal, use a carburizing flame, but you still weld with the little inner cone. All right, now we're ready to actually go and weld and cut with some metal. <laughs> 